Lucas Media. So the internet has been on fire for the last several days. I don't didn't even know where to start, but shout out to Cat Williams and Shannon Sharp for literally breaking the internet. Last time I checked, there was over 30 million views. One thing that Cat Williams talked about is how a lot of the comedians in the industry treated Bernie Mac. And there's been a lot of rumors about what was going on with the whole Kings of Comedy tour back in the day. Well, Bernie Mac daughter's response, check out her video. Contact about my thoughts on the uh, Cat Williams interview. The interview heard around the world. <laughs> and I don't know, my it, my take is probably going to be really, really boring. Um, number one, I want people to keep in mind, my dad has been dead for 15 years. So I have not been fully immersed in the world of comedy. I don't know the ins and outs of that like that anymore because my end has been gone for 15 years you know i've got friends in the game but we don't sit and talk about you know stuff like that so um, i don't know cat williams uh never met him that's one person i never did get to meet when my dad was alive but from everything that i've ever heard my dad you know say he's always seemed like a stand-up dude so i have no qualms no quarrels with him um i thought the interview was hilarious entertaining that man dropped so many uh one-liners that i'm sure we are going to be wearing down to the ground in this year of our lord 2024 but um i one of my biggest takeaways in, in watching people's responses was how people were kind of like oh that's kind of sad like outside of being you know tickled by it and i've seen people say stuff like it's like watching you know your uncles go at it and you're like oh why can't we all just get along well i mean because everybody doesn't get along like i think that's one of the mis conceptions about comedians and I guess it's due to the fact that what they do bring so much joy to others that the perception the expectation is that behind closed doors everybody gets along everybody just and it's just it's in love and no it's not it's they've always been competitive like I it's always been um as far as I've ever witnessed in watching my dad it's always been um kind of cutthroat like You'll have, you know, people beefing, like, same as in within your family. Just because y'all related don't mean y'all all get along, right? It's, comedy's no different. Um, but for me, Cat Williams has my utmost appreciation and respect for giving my dad his props and his flowers. And I felt like it was genuine. There are some people who have given, you know, my dad his flowers now that he's dead that I'm looking at, like, and you know doggone well he wasn't doing that when he was alive and that not just famous people just people all across the board as my dad used to say you ever want to be loved by everybody you ever want to be special just die it's real easy to give lip service when somebody dies and you oh they were so wonderful and that's not how you felt when they were alive but when cat spoke of my dad for me i felt his heart i felt that it was genuine and i appreciate it um again it's been 15 years since my dad's been dead if you follow me at all you know i've said this repeatedly like it does my heart good to know that my dad was a stand-up guy that the man that i knew him to be was who he actually was to people because that's the thing like we can love people and think they one way and then find out later no and i say like in 15 years if he was an asshole somebody by now would have been like eh, let me tell you about that my love so <laughs> that that is not the case with my dad makes me so proud and i just really appreciate what i believe the genuine love and respect that cat williams showed my father it is so much appreciated much love and mad props to cat williams i would love to sit down and just have a conversation with cat williams because i think that is probably be mo the most entertaining and gym dropping conversation i probably would have in my life <laughs> outside of conversations with my dad so yeah so that's my take like i said probably boring but that's what i thought again much love and respect to cat williams